Welcome to part 36 of Trials and Tribulations. All right, then. <coughs> so, yes, Cycloc there, we don't have the ammo. Let's get out of here while we still have our heads connected to our bodies. Yeah, better. Yes. Better. Before I lose my head. Speaking of that, Dwibs. Off with his head! Oh, no. There he is. Old CD's back feeding the pigeons. Yeah, take this! And this! And get out of my park! It's not your park, dude. It is not park of the but... Like I thought, he's really mad. Max. <laughs> Come on, Maya. Just keep your head down and let's sneak away while we still can. What? Why? Hello? Old man? Oh, Maya! What are you doing, Maya? I'm gonna have to have a phoenix on this one. <coughs> what? No seeds to throw? Hey, he just turned his back on us. Oh, I think we broke his seed throwing spirit. I'm not surprised. I bet I really hurt his pride in court this morning. Hey, Mr. Kudo. No! Nick is very, very sorry, and he's gonna buy you lunch. I'm um, what? Uh, feed the bird, sir. Top in the bag. Look, we really need to talk to you, all right? All oh, right, we need to make sense of his testimony and see if it's of use. Ow, we are demons. Here we go you. Ow! 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 Seeds, shell splinters, painful. Ouch! <laughs> That's what you get, Maya. You work. I always knew you were a demon, Maya. Stop Does this mean that you no work at Konami? Oh, that reminds me! When I was on vacation and I went to Las Vegas, guess who happened to have a building, Konami? Konami. Yep. And guess what kind of building it was in there? Uh, wow. a brothel. A castle. No, it was a casino. <laughs> That's where all the pachinko machines are kept. <laughs> Oh, in Las Vegas. Anyway. You see, it's the master plan. But yeah, I didn't know Konami had a building in Las Vegas till I actually ended up seeing it there when I had to stop did, there. Did you go in? Yes. I assure you- I'm sorry, it, you had your holiday ruined. <laughs> yeah, I assure you, it was not all blazing hell in there. They have an automatic device that straps your soul away from your body as soon as you enter. <laughs> Thankfully, yeah. I made out with my money alive and intact, and a bit more. Anyway... Come to think of it, I still have all the iron fillings I found way back when. Uh, get me, Jova! Do you know what you just done? You took money from Konami and I <laughs> want a hypocrite! <laughs> 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 but I did it fair and square. Not by crushing people's matter. hopes and dreams. You took money from a company you hate that makes you a hypocrite. Well, technically they didn't own the casino machine, they were just borrowing it, but that's well, semantics. Could, well, Mr. Kudo, if it makes you feel any better, I buy my Microsoft and Konami stuff used. Yeah, I'm here, million girls, but this is okay, we're on crazy work. Um... I got a quick of our stress inside, it's way out of my mouth! On second thought, forget it. A million grumbles for one <laughs> quick look doesn't sound like a good deal. For me. Nothing to say about the bat, okay. Uh, Magatana. Already used that. Um, I'm sorry about what happened in court earlier today. God, am I really talking about me about my back now? Hmm. And then the old man who was so busy looking at the serving girl's backside. Well, that's kind of feeding the description. Not at all! I don't know, Simi boy! I don't care what you say, I saw that witch was smiling! He put some more butter in the young girl's stomach, he You sure it wasn't just sugar? We hear you. <laughs> well, she did do it from the same brown bottle that's in evidence. And another thing! The young girl about was fine in the airpace. I'm the same size lady as Marcus Speckles! Hmm... We 
I'm really sorry. Uh, sir, if you get any more mad, your words are gonna get too muffled. <laughs> okay, okay, take it easy, please, Mr. Kudo. Look, here's a bout of water, drink it, then you can talk clearly. <sighs> Um, you said you were a craftsman, right? Ha! I'm only well cast on this guy friend of me. I saw him go. He actually has a point there, I'll give him that. Um, surely it's not that. I come from right now, Casting! That was a time of sugar! Interesting. Really? I am become a murderer. I was born on. Actually, I'm kind of in the same situation myself. Mm-hmm. Why are you crazy, Lester? I, I, I want to stick my fingers on that dirty old Jesus house. <laughs> and scream right down at you, oh, objection! Oh, so. Did you want to become a lawyer when you were young? Maybe. Although I don't think that's quite it, Maya. I think he's just in a bad mood, that's all. Yeah. If we let him start rambling now, we might never shut him up. What should I do? Uh, cut in. Now of course you're depressed. Yes, I better let him talk. Who knows, maybe some kindness will get us some kindness. So, there's not much in the call for craftsmen these days. I curse not yet, I'm good for all this words! Oh boy. Errands? I want to take advantage of the elderly. Buy some breadcrumbs, take the dog for a walk, granddad. Where did you go, know, man? Why am I so sorry to be coming in the head of that? Well, at least you're helping people. Um, well... Huh. Buy some breath now that I can understand. Herbert? I want to start by interviewing some shady papers. Why do people say what they mean? Get lost! That's what they're trying to say! And that's why he's so grumpy because, well... Oh yes, I just say convenience, you see! At home, at the restaurant, I just get in the way, don't I? I I'm sure you don't. Wait a minute. What did he just say? At home and... Answer. At that restaurant? Hold up. So... By restaurant, are you talking about Trey Bien? Didn't we establish before that... Did you get asked uh, to oh. run an errand there, too? Yes, I did. I did it. I'm back. It's possible. What? Oh, my dun, dun, God. Dun. You're actually being useful. But first, time to see what happens if I cut in. No, 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 no. Um, actually, we've got places to go, things to check and stuff, and, uh, maybe another go time. follow my rainbow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, so I guess now it's around the corner, do. Yes, yes, this girl right here is really looking forward to hearing it all. Honest. <laughs> Phoenix, come on. What? I never said that. Well, to be fair, my eye threw Phoenix into things like that, so... Sure do. No excuse. Don't let me try again. Here, bring me a song with you. Wait, he's giving me some of the seeds. What is this? It's covered in seeds. A discount coupon for a burger? Who would take well, that? That actually fits my, uh... <laughs> you really want someone to grumble at, huh? Although, it is a burger joint. Sold. Cool. Buy is sold, of course. I like burgers too, so... Me too, as Me well. Too. 
So, on the day of the incident, what were you asked to do? Get ready, Pedro. Alright. Back your spark, cause I'll tell you what I was asked to do. Oh, I'll send the young lad some gopher diaper. <coughs> That's how I'm going to collapse. And then... Then I broke the boss. Oh, I'm going to pass us in the middle of a bag, you can see. Okay, then... Alright. Then you want to shout over me. Excuse me, why you call the police? Oh, so I I <laughs> Aw, you actually did nice stuff. That's good. So, did you end up calling the police? Hmm. Like I said, I'll see a pair of guts. Did you call them on your cell phone? What the fuck is Do I reckon I want a stool fangle baby eggs? Yeah. I want to look for a pay for a car. Why don't judge by appearances, Gramps? You went looking for one? Yeah, it took me a while, but I found one eventually in that crying place. Of course. I couldn't find my right way, you know. We're gonna run for five minutes or so. You got to cry in five minutes. <laughs> Five minutes? <laughs> Wait a minute. So for five minutes after the incident happened... I got your crying image. That's very impressive. There's a reason you know, that tried bad eyes Oh boy. Wait, why didn't you mention this in court this morning? Well, why haven't you given me a chance? Uh-oh. But you're by me at the courtroom. No, I didn't. Oh, thank you, Mr. Kudo. You've certainly earned your kudos for today. You had to repeat <laughs> that joke. <laughs> it's funny. I'll give him that. If I the case, there's more. I got more to say. To be fair, it's a uh, funny joke. Yeah. <laughs> I made it beforehand. <laughs> Bailiff, escort the witness out of the courtroom. Shoot, he was going to be useful. It's not my fault. Yeah, Let's just agree to blame the justice system. You could have at least told us before we got to court. Is it really that important that Mr. Kudo was the one who called the police? Yes, 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 yes. What's important is the unaccounted time before yeah. the police arrived. The victim was dead, and Maggie was unconscious. leaves that woman, I mean, that <laughs> man, alone in the restaurant. <laughs> Mr. Kudo might have been chased out of the place on purpose. What do you mean? He might have been set up along with them. Just as a witness, maybe a certain someone didn't want him in the restaurant. Hmm. Ah! Oh. Uh, no, actually, you're being helpful. I suppose I should become a little common and bitching for concern. We need to get more details about what exactly happened. From Maggie and from Mr. Armstrong. Thank you for your help, Mr. Kudo. <laughs> yes, you're useful. Okay, he's got nothing to say about himself. Go oh well, goodbye. <laughs> okay. He thinks he's that boring. So where are we going now? To go mm. speak to the chef. Oh, great. Why, though? Well, I kind of need to know. Looks like Mr. Armstrong's out again. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. Uh, he's, the he's, the only, he's, the, he's the only employee. The place is open for business. Yeah, exactly. You can't have an open restaurant Thank without a chef. Thank you, Phoenix. Thank you. <laughs> hey, it's not my fault, Nick. Don't take it out on me. 
I'm not. Uh, they yeah, take like... advantage of me and put the place on fire. Maybe it, <laughs> it might just put even the owner out of its misery. Like, like, like if this restaurant got burned down while he was out, uh, the, my reaction would be, "Well, you you got my check, check coming to you." I mean, your kids are just asking point. for it. Missing when we need to talk to him the most. How ironic. Hmm. Maybe he's trying to avoid us on purpose. Why not just close up the restaurant then? Because he's a bad business owner. I think that's that's definitely been established. All right. Ugh. Oh well then. Can we get out of here? Thank you. <laughs> oh God. <coughs> Fine. Yeah, a place I can actually look out without covering my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that says a lot. Oh, Mr. Wright. Hello there, Maggie. So, they finished questioning you? Wasn't it just unbelievable in court today, sir? Yeah, these trials are getting crazier and crazier. I'm going to stay up all night and blog about everything that happened. Oh <laughs> no, she's one of those. <laughs> well, to be fair, it was pretty touch and go in there. To be fair, Shiroi. To be fair, Shiroi. If courts were this exciting in real life, tell me you wouldn't uh, post about them. I'd be filming them. <laughs> I know, right? Unfortunately, we can't film court cases here in the UK. No. We do get pretty cool, good sketches of them, though. Sketches, yeah. eh? Mm -hmm. they're, yeah, they're actually really good. Huh. Wow, so people literally mean? draw what's going on at the time. We're really, we're really traditional, Jova. Mm -hmm. Ah, you see. They don't allow, like, even in um, high-profile situations, even then they, they still don't allow to film. You can film before and after, but not during. Anyway. So basically, the thing is like, well, uh, everyone's testimony is out of whack with Maggie's, including Mr. Victor Kudos, although maybe she might be misremembering something. Maggie, you know how you said that everyone else... Someone take over for a minute. Huh. I provided testimony that didn't match up with Actually, that. Actually, that's Pedro's. Oh, but Dweebs, you can be back up, Maggie. Yep, there are so many things that just don't seem to add up. Hmm. The biggest contradiction is the other guy I saw at the victim's table. Who could that have been? I already ran it about that table, so moving on. Wow, he's actually given up on ranting about the restaurant table. He was the one who slipped something into the victim's coffee. I was sure it was him. Hmm. Oh, thank God, Siori hasn't killed me for taking one of her roles. Well, she did ask someone to fill in for her, and that makes sense. You'd have to be pretty bipolar or suffering a multiple personality disorder to want to kill you for that. Which I'm confident but... she's not. So you really Siori think confirmed that? for Glass? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Disappearing no, actually, man. Well, actually, I have, I have met her. I can confirm she ain't bipolar. <laughs> Well, he's not the only thing that disappeared. A CD vanished as well. You know, the CD with the writing on it? Mm. As opposed to the CD that didn't have writing on it. I hate it when people don't label their shit. I know, right? Yeah, the MC Screwdriver album, right? Right. It was the MC Bomber, Maya. The name was scrawled on the sports paper as well. I never did find that CD at the crime scene, sir. By the way, guys, is part 37 the start of the next trial day? No. Oh. You really want to tear that one a new one, don't you? <laughs> or maybe he just, just wants this case to be over. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. This is getting way too complicated for me. Don't worry, Maya. We have yet for the real heavy stuff to enter the picture. You the said only you... thing that's complicated so far are the screwy testimonies. Everything else seems pretty clear. Again, yeah, there's still the supposed person that was talking with uh, uh, Vegeta here. And there's the matter of still that Victor Kudo still insists that he saw the whole thing fold out the way he says. Which is odd when witnesses still insist that. 
And before I knew what was going on, they arrested me, sir. Hmm. But yeah, the time frame means that someone could have put the the silent thing in their pocket. So it could have been done very quickly as well, because from what we've seen, this is a very tiny restaurant we're dealing with. I know, yeah. right? It's actually the perfect place to commit a crime in. That's what that restaurant is good for. Yeah. Though, though, as we found out, um, it's not really a surprise that this case is the weakest one in the game, since this was meant to be in uh, Justice for All. Which sort of shows why it was, ironically, the strongest bird case for a long time until Spirit of Justice, because this was originally the finale for Justice for All. Case out of the picture? What do you mean? Oh god, this case being the final one of Justice for All, that would have been... Well, for you, maybe. I mean, most people like this case, no offense. Uh well, well he was yeah, but the restaurant because he was told to yeah, but the Ruma, think about it. Uh, the thing we have the... to remember, guys, is like, oh, well, obviously, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but just, hold on, yeah, let me finish. It's... Let me finish. The thing we have to remember also is like, oh, well, this was probably going to be tailored a lot differently if it was a finale. Like for well, one thing, some characters Maggie probably would have, been would've... Been else, huh? yeah, Maggie would have been someone else, and let's just say it probably would have been extended to a longer length as well, being the finale. Not to mention that Franziska probably would have been the prosecutor, and well. Let's just say it it wouldn't be nearly exact the same as it is now. Honestly, Jova, is one thing you mentioned earlier, I don't really care if I'm in the minority or whatever. I know. I'm just letting you know, that's all. Why no, would I you don't, I, don't, I don't care. Okay. Well, of course. Nobody should have to, nobody should, honestly. Yeah, honestly. you don't have to care. I know, it's just the point, it's just that Jova always brings that up whenever I have an opinion on OBJECTION, DWIBS! I DON'T BRING IT NEARLY UP NEARLY AS MUCH! Moving on... <laughs> I object to your objection. Anyway, yeah, go on, Sir Wright. Are you sure about this, Mr. Wright? My life is, is objectionable. Well, the old man said as much when we spoke with him earlier. I don't know. The things that man says don't add up for some reason, sir. Hmm. Well, he does seem a little, uh, cuckoo. Maggie looks like she's trying to figure something out. I better help things along, then. We'd better find out exactly what happened to the old man the other day. Alright, let's see what we can learn from what we've got. Alright, uh... Oh, wait, wait, we're still painting stuff. I know I used to be in the police force. Well, they ain't took an arrow to me. But I'm incarcerated now. I don't pick up that much information in here. Mm. All I can help you out with now is the menu at 3pm. <sighs> no, thank you. Hey, come on, Maggie. Don't let your spirits fail. Get it? Spirits fall because he's a spirit medium. <laughs> Go to what the a story. Dreams. Okay, you can't even help me out with the lunch special. Maybe that's Is a that good thing. Is that two of her own profile, Jova? Maybe. Okay, nothing to say about that, surprisingly. Oh yeah, that's from when I was carrying customers' breakfast over to them. What were you serving them? Red acid? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> red acid. No, I got it, I got it. Armstrong's such a terrible chef. He fixed the red acid as beans. The ketchup spot, you mean? Yeah, ketchup. <laughs> My whole face was fire engine red thanks to that stuff. But you spot the ketchup <coughs> on your apron, <coughs> I don't see how... I mean, how bad could things have gone from that? The ketchup covered omelette went flying and hit the customer in the face. Oh, <laughs> and you're fired. Yeah, surprisingly, no. <laughs> of course, she's not fired because no one else wants to work there. Oh, I guess. About some water red face makes me wish I could have seen it myself. Pedro, considering the shitty management that restaurant has, do you really think they would have bothered to fire her for that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess. It was kind of a sight to behold. It must have been. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Potassium. Cyanide. 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 Yeah. 
I've never heard of that poison before. Right. Okay, maybe I have. You're a cop, of course you've heard of it. But I've never seen it before. That's the truth. You sure? Look at those eyes, Drew. She's not lying, I'm sure. <laughs> it depends how much gumshoe pisses me off from now on. Chill! I better keep her away from the poison if she gets out after this one. Potassium cyanide, dealers? It sounds like another group of drug pushers to avoid. We're really getting in deep. Uh, oh, drug pushers. That, that reminds me, there was a game, there was a video game based on Grain Chill of all shows, and one of the game really? overs you can, and one of the game overs you can get is if you accept drugs from a drug dealer. <laughs> you spiral into addiction and die. Hey kid, wanna buy some aspirin? <laughs> aspirin? <laughs> oh my god. The criminal must have snuck a bottle in my apron while I was unconscious. This baby will, ma will make your headache go away. Oh, cool, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> she has nothing to say about the MC Bomber disc, okay. But she was... spoke about it earlier. Ah, it was on quite a few. It was on the Commodore 64, oh, ZX this. Spectrum, and Amstrad CPC. Oh boy. Is that your attorney's badge? No, it's Actually, not. it's a fake. <laughs> By the way, kid, if you're feeling specially palsy, oh, holy I have... That's it! I have... Holy smokes! I also have runny nose pills. Huh? They make you sleepy. Uh, only for only for the real the tough guys, kid. Cat, Mr. Rice. <gasps> it is. It looks so much like yours. Yeah. You got duped by this. Everyone did. It's so realistic. Apparently, you see, Fe go... oh, never mind. You see Phoenix. This is a universe. Color. You see Phoenix. This is the Ace Attorney universe where people will 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 be competent and stupid whenever the plot demands them to. And what about the fact that it's made of paper? Oh, I almost read that again. <laughs> I refer you to the to the answer I just gave. He said the badge got a tan as well. Why he was in Hawaii on business? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Um, did Galactus okay. do something to the Earth's atmosphere when I was busy saving it from him or something that I've, makes uh, Tan start being so paper? Excuses, but that's that's uh, uh, how. How? Yeah. <laughs> how? How? <laughs> how indeed? Oh. Now I couldn't skip this one because it's technically different. We read this. Yeah. It's this bit that's different, apparently. All I can tell you about now is info that ex console clientele of the answer. The clientele being me and my boss. And apparently, uh, Mr. Cooldown. That's the victim, isn't it? Yep. That Seems day like was it. the first time you'd ever seen this man, right? Yes, I'd never met or seen him before then. Hmm. I just happened to be the waitress who served him this coffee, sir. That's all. Poor Maggie. Bad luck indeed. Seems he was a computer programmer. Really? I'm useless at computers. Completely hopeless. Yeah, they say he was involved in this thing called Project Needle Mouse. Oh god. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Can you imagine if that's the name we ended up with, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it would be just as uh, if Crash Bandicoot ended up being really being called Sonic Sass. Sonic Sass <laughs> Yes. I hope you can help me out this year too. Yes, let's just not make it a yearly Ajoba. thing, please. But Jova, there's a pro um, he was a programmer at Bluepoint though. True. And Blue Screen. But don't <laughs> you see, Pedro? After Project Needle Mouse, he went over to Blue Point. I guess. Greatness from small beginnings. Yeah, da, 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 nothing to say about that person. Joy? 
We've already read this. No, actually, there's a different bit of dialogue huh? coming up. That's your pony, Mr. Wright. Just look at that ridiculous suntan. Was he born that way, I wonder? Maybe. Um, for the Maybe record, I'm not kid. sunburned like an overdried tomato, so I don't know how. He told me he'd been on a business trip to Hawaii, and that's where he got the tan. So both Phoenix and the badge <laughs> got a tan. One turned him into a giant orange dude, and the other turned the badge into paper. I'm not hearing this. <laughs> Mr. Armstrong was pretty good to me after I was fired from the force. I can't believe someone as nice as him could have anything to do with this. Poor Mads. Well, in the time between the victim being poisoned and the police being called... Hmm... The only person who was on the scene and had a chance to do anything... ...was Mr. Armstrong. There was no one else there. Yep. Mr. Armstrong wouldn't. He wouldn't set me up, would he? Hmm. At, at this point, I believe anything. No matter what happens, I'll never let things get to me. I'll never let things get me down. Yeah. You're always so positive, aren't you, Maggie? Gotta be. Watch your Maggie ride, they say. Bird. The only bird catches the worms. A bird in the hand. Well, all those phrases are named after you. Kind of love it. <laughs> and I never turn my back on anything. At the precinct they are. You're always so strong, aren't you, Maggie? She's well, strong, and... independent female character. <laughs> I'm a tough old bird. You know, this is before that phrase became kind of an annoying thing. Like, oh look, strong female character, strong female character, strong female character. Look, just say she's strong. Don't need to point out she's female, okay? Sorry, people still can't do character analysis without bringing up their gender. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Like, seriously. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Not gonna go into a rant about that. Back when I was an officer, Detective Gumshoe always looked out for me. But today, today I was the one who had to look out for him, trying to incriminate me the whole time. Poor Maggie, poor Gumshoe, poor everyone involved in this case. You've got to remember, Maggie, Gumshoe's a detective. He's got a job to do. I mean, of all the cases, and this one in particular is the one where everyone's a mess. I know, right? Phoenix is... <laughs> Phoenix has been made a mockery of, but Maya's just... Well, Maya. Well, Maya has been kidnapped yet. Or... Or uh, has been accused. How about that? I mean, even in Big Top, despite the, um... The backwards nature of every character, like... They weren't all complete and utter messes. <laughs> Yeah, this is a case that's really personal, to say the least. I hate him, sir. I mean it. I don't ever want to see him again. Yeah, so... yeah, you surely do. Yeah, let's wait till the end of the case for that. I think I just saw Gumshoe's chances go down in flames like the Hindenburg. Oh, the humanity! So, did, I miss did I miss anything? Eh, nothing you haven't seen before, did I see? More moping. I don't think it's getting through to him what he was really trying- no, that he was really trying to help. I feel much better after the trial this morning. Do it really? But, but you literally just came off saying you hate cops, you! I've... been a bit of a court- no. Courtroom's proceedings addict for years now. Okay. It feels like forever since I saw a witness as free as that old man. <laughs> <laughs> He's not really that bad an old, of an old man, though. He's Ira. just a bit, uh, he needs some friends, basically. Trust, trust me, I've seen plenty of worse old men. Yeah. yeah. 
At least he has honor. Oh, you feel a bit uneasy. Huh? I thought you just said you felt much better. But I thought you said you felt much better and you were in control. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie. If there's something on your mind, you've got to tell us. Especially if it has anything to do with Mr. Kudo or his testimony. Roger. I'll spill it all and see what you make of it. All right. Let's get I'm down to business. The are gonna appear. Thank goodness, no. We've already got seven on the loose right now. Is there anything about Mr. Kudo's testimony that stood out as odd to you? Actually, yes. All right, now we're getting somewhere. The fact that he was even testifying to begin with doesn't quite... Huh? Huh? Doesn't quite what? Well, when I took the coffee over to the victim's table... The victim was gone. It's true oh, there was oh. another customer in the restaurant. Yeah, we knew that already. It was Victor Kudo. But I can't really say it was an old man. Eh? Why didn't you bring this up before? Okay, then how about calling him a really old middle-aged man? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Half I don't think that's how it works. Half no, the mid 40 year olds in Stoke? The other customer was a woman. Wait, what? He was a Mr. Sontek. Uh, Angel Star? Let me guess. Angel this. Star? Let me guess. Sure. Angel Star. Let me, let me guess this. Think think up, are you think sure? About, think it's about it. Mixed with a shark, can it? Well, I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Did this person have a rounded chest or not? So, what did this woman look like? Um, she had big boobs, she wore a weird business suit, and uh, she said she was a what? Oh wait, sorry, that was three years ago. Um, um, she was sort of creepy. Oh, Violetta. And she had a kind of crackling laugh. Cackling, Laura. Cackling. Creepy. Cackling? Oh my god, it's Violetta from Disney Channel! No! <laughs> Why do I get the feeling I've come Run across a woman like that recently? Hmm. Could it have been Maya's evil double? Nigga, we haven't gotten to that game yet, uh, Jova. Wait, what? I was actually talking about Viola. Eh, um... I know what you're already, referencing! We, we, we already have a much better one. We've already done the demo, so the, so the guys know. It was so ironic how Rafa turned out to not be evil, Maya. Oh, Rafa? Hmm. Yeah, basically, there were all these conspiracy theories about how she was actually going to be someone dead who was channeled by Maya, but that's another story. Really? What is it? A lunchbox, just for you! Here you go! Oh. A lunch box? Weenies too? Mm -hmm. How do you get it through there, though? Magic boobs. All that it does, remember. Yes, remember, maybe they did it. Just movie. For me, Mr. Wright? Maybe they did it movie style, this, but it turned it into a hologram and just made it pass through. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was just a dog shoe. Who also made such a nice lunch box for you? And she immediately throws it up in the air. Actually, yeah. Yeah. she won't, ironically. Detective He's not such a bad guy, after all. He's really worried about you. Looks like he put up a lot of effort into making this, too. Not to mention, this is stuff he could have eaten for his own health and safety, but he refused for you. I can't accept it. Detention center rules. No gifts allowed, sir. Oh boy, she's acting professional now. Hey, come on, Maggie. Don't be like that. It's the rules. Unfortunately. The rules are the rules. They'll lock you up if you break them. 
The there last thing we need is to get locked up. No, you have to murder someone in the process. <laughs> well, sure, as we've established in the first game, and the second game, you can get arrested for stuff not about murder. Oh, also the third game too, and stolen turnabout. Theft. And anyway, I hate weenies. Objection? Uh. What but did weenies you... ever do to you? You didn't bring that up earlier. Weenies she... killed my mother. She actually loves weenies. Oh. Really? Wow, Maya's actually hesitant about accepting food. It's all yours, Maya. You can enjoy it with Mr. Wright. Wait, enjoying lunch with me, and we're in what's a hybrid involving a visual novel. Maya, we are not going to the rooftop! <laughs> Yeah. It's better than letting it go to waste. That's Phoenix's line, Chewie. But... Oh, right, I guess we'll... Eat. Yeah, it's okay, <laughs> I wasn't speaking it. Gumshoe's lunchbox eaten with Maya. In the detention oh. center, not on the rooftop! We are In not going the school Maggie. day's route. Well, how was it? You could have eaten it somewhere else, you... That hit the spot! I love weenies. <laughs> you insensitive douche nozzles. Uh, she... hey, Ma hey, hey, Maggie, look, we're eating it. Um, Actually, mm -hmm. she did insist that we eat it. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Mm. Too bad you can't have any. Mm. Well, mm. to be fair... Which year are these games supposed to take place with? Uh, 2019. 18 to 19. Yep, 2018 to 19. We're currently in the 2019 area. Hi, love weenies. Phoenix, right? 2018. 